hello everyone in this video we are just going to demonstrate how you can write to a particular memory location available inside the cpu of arm cortex m as well as we are just going to retrieve back the value from a particular memory address available inside the cpu of arm cortex m with the help of pointers in c language let's get started So this was the previous program that we wrote in the previous video which demonstrated the application of pointer. How pointers are useful for storing a address of a variable and how you can use the pointer for dereferencing the value of a variable whose address has been stored inside the pointer. So let me just delete everything right over here. I don't need anything and now let me just open the user manual of the microcontroller that I am going to work on that is the STM32F446RE. So this is the user manual and from the user manual you can clearly see I am having a static RAM of 128 kilobytes in my CPU and whose address starts with 0x2000000. So let me just note down this. I am having static RAM of 128 kilobytes whose address starts with 0x2000000. And now in this video, I am just going to let's take the address 0x2000010. I am just going to write the value, let's take the value to be 3 loaded in this memory location of 0x2000010. So this is the demonstration that we are going to do. That is we are just going to declare this address as a pointer in our program and we are just going to write the value 3 to this address of the RAM available inside the CPU. So as usual, we know that the syntax for declaring and defining a pointer is care of asterisk. Let me just provide the name of the pointer to be memory1. So we just successfully declared and defined a pointer of name memory1. You can give whatever name here you want as this is a variable you just want to follow the same variable naming rules for declaring and defining a pointer variable 2 in C language. So if I directly write like 0x2000010 so what happens here is you can clearly see there is a warning incompatible integer to pointer conversion initializing char asterisk with an expression so what it is telling is this is a pointer variable but this pointer variable is loaded with the value 0x2000010 so this 4 byte value as an integer has been loaded inside the pointer variable so this is a pointer variable which is only capable of storing memory addresses of CPU or registers or memory addresses of variables. But this line indicates us that this memory one pointer variable has been loaded with a value of 32 bits so and so. So it is wholly taking this 0x2000 0010 as a 32 bit integer value so only it is throwing me a warning right over here so what you want to do right over here is you just want to tell the compiler that this particular thing right over here is not a value or a integer value instead it is a memory address 
so what we will do usually for converting one type to another we will be type casting right so we just want to explicitly type cast this particular value right over here into memory address before loading this to this variable or pointer variable called memory one so we know the type casting is done like this care of so when i write care of this value this will type cast this value 0x2000 0010 into of type care and then it will load this to the pointer variable called memory one but if i want to type cast this value into memory address or a pointer you just want to type cast this into a pointer like this you can see when i write care of space asterisk of value this value right over here 0x2000 0010 will be typecasted into a memory space or a pointer so this value has been typecasted into a pointer or memory location first and then that value or memory location is loaded inside the pointer variable called memory one and further you can directly write like memory one is equal to three or now also it is showing me a warning let's see what it is incompatible integer to pointer conversion assigning to care asterisk so you cannot directly write like memory one is equal to three as we know this is a pointer variable so if you want to write something to the value stored inside the pointer variable you just want to provide a dereference operator in the beginning of the pointer variable like this so now what happens here is the value at the memory one will be loaded with the value three so value at the memory one is nothing but zero x two triple zero 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 one zero and at this address the number three will be written so this is what happens right over here now let me just compile this you can see rs is zero warning is zero i am just moving to the debug session of keel microvision ide so now i am just going to open the memory window and i am just going to move to this address 2000001 just type in the address right over here and click on enter you can see this is the first memory space which will be manipulated with the value 3 that is the ram location will be loaded with the value 3 as per our program i am just keeping the breakpoint right over here i am running the program you can see the program has arrived before executing the breakpoint that is the line number 7 when i execute this you can see the value 3 has been loaded at the memory location of 0x2000010 so in this manner you will be able to declare and define a pointer with a particular memory location and you will be able to manipulate the data available inside the particular memory address inside the cpu that is the ram address or register address inside the cpu So for reading from that same address, you can use the same methodology. Let me just declare another variable care is equal to a asterisk of memory one. Printf a is equal to percentage d comma a. So the same is done right over here. You can use the same asterisk symbol for writing to the pointer variable, writing to the address loaded in the pointer variable and also the same asterisk symbol for reading from the address that has been stored in the pointer variable. Let me just compile this and run this. When I run this, you can see. The a is equal to 3 has been 
printed on the debug viewer window. When I run this, you can see a is equal to 3 has been printed in the debug viewer window. And one more important thing that you want to know is that different data types provided for declaring and defining a point of variable. So as we saw, so as we saw before, we just declared and defined pointers of char type, right? And we can also declare and define pointers of int, long, or even void. And as I mentioned before, the value of memory addresses inside a 32 bit machine is of 4 bytes. So all the defined pointer variables of any type char, int, long, void can store memory addresses of 4 bytes or 32 bits as common so what is the difference between all these different kinds of data types that you are using for declaring and defining a pointer so what is the purpose if all the memory addresses is of only four bytes so the purpose is this decides the behavior of operation of a pointer that is if you take a pointer of type char it will manipulate or it will be capable of manipulating only a byte of data inside the memory but if you declare and define a pointer of int type it will be capable of manipulating 2 bytes or 4 bytes depending on the size of the int data type similarly for long it will be capable of manipulating totally 4 bytes as the size of long is 4. That is, it will be capable of writing 4 bytes at a time and also it will be capable of reading 4 bytes at a time. And if you declare and define a pointer of type void, it will be easily been typecasted to other pointer data types such as char, int, long, double, etc. So let's demonstrate this. So in the example shown right over here, the pointer variable is of char type. So the size of char is 1 bytes as we know. So this memory 1 pointer is of char type. So it can write at the max of values between 0 to 255. That is a byte of value. And also it can read back the same value. When I try to write a larger number greater than 255 for example 300 like this let me just erase this or let me just print this let it be like this so i am just writing the value 300 to this memory location 0x2000010 and i am just loading the value 300 to the same memory location with the help of char pointer so in the following next line, I am just reading the value and I am printing it to the debug viewer window. I am just compiling this. You just neglect this warning. I am just going to demonstrate that only. Now when I print this, you can clearly see I am getting A is equal to 44 printed. That is decimal value 300 and when you take it in binary it is nothing but 0001 0010 1100 so a byte means only 8 bits starting from bit number 0 to bit number 7 so this one will be neglected when i remove this one you can see the value 44 has been loaded in the variable a which has been read so a variable overflow has been happened and after the 255, 44 has been loaded in the variable A from the point of variable. When I reset this and I am moving to the memory view window, memory window, I am keeping breakpoint in the line number 7 and 8 that is before this line and before this line. 
when i run this you can see before writing the data 300 to the memory 1 the memory space is having the value 0 and after writing you can see i am having value 2c which is nothing but 44 in decimal it's the same value has been loaded that is after the number 255 the remaining number that is 45 from 0 to 44 has been loaded to the same variable so the variable has overflown so this is what has happened inside the variable so when i try to declare and define this as int type and typecast this as int type now it is capable of storing numbers between 0 to 65535 so now when i write you can clearly see i'm moving to the memory window when i run this program before executing it i'm not having anything after executing this line number 7 you can clearly see 2c01 has been written to the memory so it has automatically taken two bytes in the memory starting from 0x2000 0010 and it has taken also 0x2000 0011 so this is what happens when you change the data type of pointer variable it will just affect the behavior of operation of a pointer that is if you declare and define a pointer of care type it will be capable of only manipulating a byte of data in the memory but if you declare and define a pointer of type int it will be capable of manipulating two bytes or four bytes of memory addresses at a time as per the size of the int variable because int will be having two bytes in some systems and four bytes in some systems so the manipulation strategy for care pointers one bytes of address int will be two or four bytes depending on the compiler and long will be always four bytes it will be capable of manipulating four bytes of address inside the memory so i hope you learned how you can declare a particular memory address as pointer in your program and how you can write to that particular address and also how you can read from that particular address using pointers in c language using keel microvision ide from stm32 f446 re microcontroller in this video see you in the next video thanks for watching